and Joe is here with us this morning. Good morning to you. Morning. Thanks for having me. Is it as uh, blissful as we imagine being able to wake up and not have to actually leave your bed and be at work? I was going to say, I had to leave my bed today for work to get here. <laughs> <laughs> so it makes a, makes a difference. But um, no, it's amazing. Like we, it's, I guess it's like we do our own, you, you sort of get out of it what you put into it, I guess. It's a, one of those kind of jobs. So the more effort you put into it, the more you do, obviously, the earlier you have to wake up and you have to get more things done in the day. And that's uh, you are the fifth member of our family. You and Zoe too are on continuously and constantly to the point where even my husband, who's not engaged with this at all, will <laughs> say things like, how is Joe's now? And things I like apologize. That. Yes. <laughs> so we're really involved in it. And it's a brilliant style because it feels like we properly know you. I mean, are you conscious of just doing your thing and, and, and letting people get involved? Or do you hold stuff back? Um, there is, there, I think with, with this job, it is very much sort of, it's hard to find the line of what, what you share and what you don't share. Because mm. um, there's some people that I know and some of my friends that sort of video every single day of their lives and put it mm. out there, but only like a 10 minute segment of it, of, of obviously a 24 hour day. Um, but for me, there is obviously certain things that I think, you know what, I do, I do just want a day where I, I don't video or something or, you know. There's... Do you feel guilty if you do that though? A little bit, yeah. I feel like it's, it's almost like if you go a day without brushing your teeth, you know, you get that sort of like, oh, no, I need to put, put some, some, content put out some sort of content out there, yeah. Or not answering your phone to your mates. You yeah. like what's you're the longest you've gone without putting something online? Um, I think uh, about a week. A I week? Think if I go on holiday and stuff, sometimes I like to sort of just switch everything mm. off. And is there a clamour, because as, as Kate was saying, Darcy and Billy adore watching as the nine million other subscribers, is there a clamour for where have you gone, what are you doing, why, uh, for, for your new stuff after that? Um... As in, like, what, what I want to do later on. Or are people put... desperate to hear from you? They yeah, they are, yeah. I, I check my, like, if I am away for more than a day, people will start using a hashtag, like, where is Joe? Things like that. And it's like, I, I, you know, I just went away for the day. It must be a compliment, though, that people are so involved. Because oh, it's, it's yeah. led to you doing all sorts of things. You, you, you're doing your A-levels, you trained as a Thatcher. Yeah, a roof Thatcher, yeah. Yeah, which, which is, is something you genuinely wanted to do, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was a, like a family, a family sort of trade. Um, my uncle taught me how to do it because uh, I don't really think there's any actual qualifications in thatching. It's just sort of handed such down. an old trade. Yeah. It's just like handed down by people that are obviously experienced in the job. Um, so that was amazing, and I didn't. I actually genuinely loved that job, and I started doing YouTube as a hobby on the side because mm. um, obviously my sister started off mm. blogging, then turned to vlogging, which is obviously video blogging. Um, and we we grew up in a very small village called Laycock in Wiltshire, and out there, there's not a lot to do. It was very much sort of build dens, build tree houses, go out on your bikes with your mates and stuff. Uh, so we and we used to buy lots of little blank tapes and record our own radio stations, mm. or we'd use our parents' camcorder to um, to film our own little TV shows, or whatever, and then show our parents or put them out wherever we could. And obviously, YouTube came along, and then it was like Suddenly a place you where platform. you had a platform you to put it and get instant. Well feedback on it as well. It's led to so much more though because mm. you've done this graphic novel, it's a trilogy isn't it? Yes, and the, and the yeah. last one, uh, Username Uprising, has yeah. uh, just been released. Yeah. That, I mean the, the, the illustrations apart from anything are absolutely beautiful, it really yeah. is incredible. Um, and you must have really enjoyed doing something that was that was away from the vlogging and the YouTubing but actually really creative in the process as well. Yeah definitely, I think with, with obviously what we do, like we're I guess like the first sort of wave of people to be doing this online YouTube thing. So for us, it's kind of like, I guess, I guess it was kind of like a pioneer kind mm. of thing where sort of like, we don't know how long this whole YouTube thing could, where is it could last, go? Yeah. you know, don't know mm. where it's going to go to. So I think it's always really important to go off into other avenues as well as still doing the YouTube thing. But one thing that I've always loved, I've always loved reading, I've always loved books, and especially when I was young, I used to love comics mm. and graphic novels. Mm. Um, so uh, when I um, had meetings with publishers, I said, you know, I want to do something that's a bit different um, and it's more me. And for that, that was graphic novels. So um, I wanted, to, like, realistically, I would love to have done the whole thing, like draw it myself. So I do love, yeah, I yeah. love drawing myself. But I think even now the first book wouldn't be ready if I had to do all the drawings <laughs> myself. <laughs> one, one last thing though, Joe, because we're unfortunately running out of time, but undoubtedly, I know Darcy and Billy like this, and I know my two boys, if I said, what do you fancy doing? Jack wants to be a Formula One racing driver or a footballer mm, nice. or a vlogger. Right. And Sam would like to be something else. Or and I'm my part, phone I'm be is full of their versions of vlogs, which so I don't So we're, up we're coming to terms with the fact that that actually could yeah. be a viable career. Yeah. What's your advice to people? Is it reasonable to consider that it is possible? to youngsters out there? I think, I think definitely, I think because I did start off as a hobby, I always made sure to have that kind of like safety net of mm. relying on going back to thatching. Like even now, if everything didn't go as planned, I'm still more than happy to get back on, it'd be difficult, but I'll get back on the ladder and up on the roof again. But um, 
but yeah, I think definitely start off as a hobby, and if it just grows bigger and bigger, I always say the three things is to collaborate, uh, be creative, and be consistent. Like the three C's. Um, and don't do it for the money. No, no, no. no. I think you've, you've got to genuinely have a passion for it and be really interested mm. in it and be excited for the feedback you're going to get on the videos more than mm. yeah, anything else. Joe, it's been an absolute okay. treat. I'm afraid yeah, we're out of time. You thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you for getting out of bed. No worries. <laughs> and coming I'm in. still looking for that spider. <laughs> <laughs> spider still here? Do you it's not like somewhere. spiders? Actually, I don't mind them, yeah. <laughs> no, they're pretty big, though, aren't they? They were, yeah. Uh, great to be here. Thank you so much. Yeah.